this is my first talk ever, so let's see how it goes. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Oliveira. Um, I all, I'm also known as uh, Milky Mew on um, Twitter, uh, GitHub, everywhere. I don't know why I picked this name. I think it's some kind of Japanese type of name, or at least I think it is. Right now, I'm working as a senior UX designer at Optum in Dublin. So a little bit about myself. I was born in Mozambique. Um, does anyone here uh, know where is Mozambique? So it's in the... Well, one person knows. <laughs> That's cool. So Mozambique is in the north of South Africa. It's the ex-colony from Portugal. So when I was two years old, I moved to Lisbon. My father is Portuguese and my mother is from Mozambique. And uh, so my nationality is Portuguese. And it was in Portugal that I first, uh, first uh, started doing websites. Um, my goal for doing a website in that time was to create a hip hop community where I could find other girls doing hip hop. So that was my main goal to build a website for the first time. So for years I worked uh, in the event industry, doing music as well. Um, and after that, I realized that I was not meant to be an artist and I should go in a different path. So then after that, I start doing a website as an hobby. So I, I was like some kind of web designer and web developer doing everything. Uh, years later, I decided to move to Dublin because I found there a good job. So I'm living in Dublin for about three years. So in my talk, I'm going to start by talking about what is an SVG, why you should be using SVGs, and then what is this concept of SVG illustrations as components, and then I'm going to show you two uh, projects, one called Cassette Tape and other called React Kawaii. So what is an SVG? This is the f definition from the Wikipedia. It says it's, it's an XML-based vector image, blah, 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 we all love this thing. Um, basically, it's just uh, a, a document where uh, you can see all this markup and all this markup in the end is giving instructions on how to draw, uh, how to draw an image. So basically, you see all this um, text, and this text describes lines, curves, shapes, color, and text, and in the end, the result, you see an image. This is my own definition. SVG is an image with superpowers. So why should you use an SVG? First, um, because it's scalable. So the SVG contains geometric descriptions, and all these geometric uh, descriptions, um, they say how the image should look like. So uh, all these geometric descriptions also make the image um, to scale without losing quality or fidelity. Uh, you should be using SVG as well because the file size, if you compare, the, um, it's a vector-based image. If you compare with other type of image like uh, raster image, JPEG, and GIFs, um, the file size of a SVG will be smaller. Uh, but the best thing of an SVG is this one, it's modifiable. It means that you can uh, change with CSS and manipulate with JavaScript. So you can use the SVG in different ways, as a CSS background image, as an image, object, or as an inline SVG. And the inline SVG is the best way of using it, in my own opinion, um, because you can see the code and all that text there and all that markup language. And then um, you can manipulate with JavaScript and CSS. So but in the React world, if you want to manipulate the SVG, you have to transform it to put the SVG in line. So to do this, uh, you have two ways. One is, the first one is to import as a React component, and the second one is to transform into GSX. So to import as a React component, uh, the good thing about this way um, of using it is you don't need to convert to GSX. You just need to do that, like import React component as, in this example, logo, and then you render the component. This is a new Create React uh, app feature. Also, you can, there's a, a package called SVGR that you can install, and then you just do this. So it's really easy to use this way. Uh, you, in the end, you don't have HTTP requests because you're not uh, using or calling the image. 
Uh, it's perfect for simple animations and to style with CSS, but we, when you want to do a lot of things, uh, it's better if you don't use this way. Um, and also, it's really easy to update, uh, I mean the design. So basically, if you work as a developer and if a designer gives you an illustration and for some reason the illustration changed uh, and the designer gives you the new SVG file, um, you just need to replace the file. And, the sec uh, and this is an example how you can um, use an SVG uh, using that way of importing as a component. In this use case, I'm importing this image and I'm just manipulating using uh, pop motion to do this uh, animation. So if you want to transform into GSX, um, you need to convert it to grab all the code that you have inside the SVG and then you need to transform into GSX. Uh, I can say that it's a little bit boring to do that way, but it will give you a lot of good advantage. Um, same as the other, no HTTP requests. A uh, very good thing is the code splitting, so you can split all the GSX in different components, different files. You can make use of all the good things of React, like props, states, all the event handlers. Um, but a disadvantage is a little bit complex if you want to update the SVG, like the design. So imagine that uh, Illustrator, uh, it decides to change something in the illustration. Um, and then because you change, you split all the SVG file in multiple files, you start putting props and all of these things, then uh, you have to, to replace that. It's a little bit complex. But now the question is, why should you transform an SVG into a React component? First, I found two use cases. When you need to animate, the illustration, and the second use case when you need to make it customizable. So this is the, uh, a project that I created back in the days. So I was living in uh, Lisbon in that time, and as I said, I always liked uh, music events and hip-hop. I used to be an hip-hop artist. My career didn't go so well, but here I am trying another career in my life. So um, in that time, I, my career um, was almost over as an artist, and I thought, OK, I can do something with my life. I like to create websites. Maybe I can take or I can go to iOS course. I thought it would be easier, uh, easy, and then I went to this course, and my final project was an uh, iOS app where you could just press play, listen to a beat, press rec, and record your freestyle. In the end of the course, I could achieve the code, but I couldn't achieve, achieve the design. Why? Because um, to, to use Xcode in that time, I used to, uh, to do with uh, auto layout, and it was so complex to me, and so my project failed. But years after, when I moved to Dublin, I opened one sketch file and I found the design that I did and I said, I should try to build it again. And I found out that there was this web audio API that you could, um, in your web browser, to uh, use the microphone inputs to record your voice. And then I said, why? Uh, maybe I can use my uh, illustration and export it as SVG, so maybe I can manipulate this image with um, SVG, and then I can use the web audio API to uh, record the voice and do all of these things. So uh, what I did is I grabbed the sketch, I used the SVGo to uh, optimize the file. If you see, I have all the elements there, the play and the pause is there, one on top of the other. And it's, it's on purpose. It's not because I'm a bad designer. <laughs> Just um, I need all the elements to manipulate after. So after that, what I did, I split all the code. I transformed it into GSX. And then I split it in different files. Um, and that's the good advantage of transforming into GSX instead of importing as a React component. This is an example of uh, one of the files uh, when it's converted into GSX. Um, as you can see, it's, um, it's very similar to the real SVG. Um, 
and the good thing you can have props. Uh, I'm, if you can see, I he, uh, have here a props uh, title. And then this is the main component, the cassette tape. And in the cassette tape, I have like uh, different methods. I don't have all the code here, just a few examples. So ha I have this play method and the record uh, method. So basically what I'm doing here is um, this will be used as an event handler. So in the future, when you uh, press click, the audio will start to play. If you press record, the record will start to play. And I will um, uh, put the state to um, uh, true or false. Uh, this is an example of the cassette tape uh, component where I'm calling the small components of the SVG, so I'm calling the center component, where I'm passing two props. Basically, um, I'm passing the state if it's playing or if it's recording, um, the time box, uh, track title, and the buttons. The buttons are receiving some um, event handlers, like the play, the record, uh, stop recording, and some states is playing, is recording, and another method, uh, prep track, and next track. This is example of the uh, another component, the center uh, component. It's where I, where I have the wheels animation. So basically here you can see I'm using the component did mount, and in the component did mount, I'm seeing if the is playing is true or false. If it's true, the wheel animation starts. If it's false, uh, this, I stop the wheel animation. And then you can see the wheel animation there and basically rendering the component. Uh, example of, uh, uh, it's just a part of the code of the button GSX. Here, if you see, I have the on click um, and I'm passing a, a play uh, function as an event handler. And I'm going to do the demo, what I achieved uh, with all of this code. And so basically, I can press play. And I can change the, the beat. And I can press record. And then I can rhyme, something like yell, I yell. But I won't do this. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> And that's it. When I stop um, recording, then in the end, I have this. So this is basically, it was my, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I prepared this one. Mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So uh, this is now the second project. Um, so the first one, the cassette tape, the use case was uh, when you need to create animation. And so th this is the second uh, use case when you want to create something or use any uh, illustrations to make something reusable and cust is, uh, uh, customizable. So I can say that as a designer, I don't have, my illustration skills are not the best. And when I try to design something, because I'm also really lazy, I always I try to do something always simple, reusable, and covering different scenarios. So because of this, um, of being that uh, so lazy, one day I start thinking, because I was working in this startup, and every day I was doing at the same time UI development and at the same time uh, design. And sometimes I'm, I was like working on something and a developer was coming to me and say, oh, I need a new illustration for this scenario, for this error state. And the other day, oh, I need a new illustration for this other scenario. And I start say, thinking, what if I could have an illustration where I could have like different states? Same like the bootstrap alert component, where I could have the success, info, warning, and danger state. So this is what my idea. And then I start thinking about maybe I can uh, create something like a kawaii. This seems uh, perfect. A kawaii is like a Japanese word, uh, best translated as cute. And I thought, OK, the kawaii seems perfect to transform into a component, because almost anything can be a kawaii. So if you have like an ice cream with a cute face uh, on it, you have a kawaii. If you have a mug with a cute face on it, you have a kawaii. So, 
anything can be a Kawaii, and the, our world of developers, designers, and working with products, it was maybe the best type of illustrations to any type of product. So first thing that I did was designing the components or designing the, um, uh, the illustrations. Um, and after that, what I did was I transformed from SVG to uh, GSX. Uh, I used like there's, um, I Google it. My first time I was just searching and replacing all the tags and I can say that it's painful. And um, in the future, I found this amazing website when you put just there the SVG and it uh, transforms to GSX. So after that, what I did was to create a face component. And the face component um, receives different props, or dif um, in this case, different moods. So you can have the face sad, shocked, happy, blissful, and love struck. So this is the example of the face component. Um, the face component is basically, it has like different conditions. I'm saying here, if the mood is blissful, I will render part of the SVG. If the mood is happy, I will render part of the SVG. Uh, other thing that I, uh, I did was to, the path to change, uh, to having a different file. Um, it was uh, Sara Vieira, a developer from Portugal, that uh, helped me doing this part of the paths, putting in a different file. So the code is much more cleaner. And then I defined the kawaii component. And the kawaii component basically is the body of the illustration. Um, and inside uh, this component, it leaves the, the face. So basically, I'm passing here uh, different props, the size and I'm replacing the value of the attribute width and the value of the attribute height with the size. And then if you see, there's the mood there and uh, of the face component that lives inside and it receives the, the mood. And also uh, the color, I'm replacing all the values of the fields uh, uh, to the color props. So in the end, uh, you can see something, uh, this is the, Final result, I can have like a component um, this way, and like you just need to say the size, the mood, and the color. This is the example how you can import the components um, and how you can render the components. And I did this like a library, um, so you can use NPM to install it. And now let's see the demo. So basically, I'm sh I'm showing off like the website, so you can see. Um, so this is the things that you can do with uh, with this library. Um, it's perfect for the different scenarios, uh, like arrow states, empty states, uh, and also if you want to create the basic animations. And and then this is the final re result. Uh, you just pick what the mood that you want excited. I'm a little bit shocked because I'm here almost finishing. <laughs> I can change the color, the size, and I can show in uh, with more details. By the way, I, I'm using the style guiders to, to create the components. Um, this is, I can change the size, the mood to sad the color to pink, maybe salmon, okay? And I have different components, the credit card, <laughs> ghost, ice cream, the mug, the planet, and the speech bubble. And maybe in the future I will have more. Um, so, let's go back. So basically, I'm not finishing. Um, so the, why you should be using SVG illustration as components? Uh, first, because you can create better products. Uh, you can have more user interactions, uh, more empathy with the user. Uh, it's kind of cool, I think, to nowadays the websites and the web apps that all of us were building, are building are like getting boring. So. This way you can create something like different, unique. 
Uh, also, it can help you to have a faster workflow. Um, you don't need every time you need a, a new illustration for a new scenario to ask the illustrator or to ask the designer to do a new illustration. You just go there and say, I want this mood and this color and this component, and that's it. It also gives you more personality. Um, so let's, uh, let's make the web fun again. And that's the end. Thank you.